Hi everyone! From extremely endangered species to practically mythological creatures, here are 10 wolves you won't believe exist. Arctic Wolf The Arctic Wolf is unbelievable in its adorableness. They look an awful lot like Arctic foxes, and they are some of the most elusive and non-threatened wolves in the world. They are one of the only animals in the world whose habitat is not currently being destroyed. This is because they live in Greenland and the Arctic regions of North America, and they are heavily isolated. Arctic wolves are also sometimes known as polar wolves or white wolves, and they can weigh up to an amazing 175 pounds, 8 kilograms. They can also be roughly 6 feet, 2 meters in length. If you were to stumble upon one of these wolves in the wild, probably you wouldn't even know. Their white coat lets them blend in with the snow just like a polar bear. One interesting fact is that they can eat more than 20 pounds, 9 kilograms of meat at once thanks to their sharp teeth and large jaws. Can you imagine eating this much meat in one meal? It's too much. Black Timber Wolf There is nothing more terrifying than a giant black timber wolf with sharp fangs and red eyes. Black wolves are the most terrifying and most fearsome of any other species of wolf, and while they don't have red eyes, they are pretty intimidating. Nobody knows this more than a man who recently shot a video of what appears to be a black timber wolf chasing a dog through the forest. The timber wolf is completely black, covered in shaggy fur, and appears to be roughly 7 feet 2 meters in length. The video is short, but you can clearly see this monstrous wolf leaping through the skinny trees of northern Saskatchewan in the wilds of the Canadian North. But this is not the only black timber wolf in the region. The north of Canada is home to hundreds and hundreds of these ferocious predators, and your dog would not stand a chance in a fight. Supposedly, the man who spotted this giant wolf did so through the window of his lodge. After his dog tried to chase the wolf away, the wolf took charge and threw the dog into the air by its back end. It was only after the man shot his shotgun into the air that the wolf turned and ran. As hard as it is to believe, these types of ferocious wolves do indeed prowl the wilderness. Don't you think that's terrifying? What would you do if a wolf this size was chasing you or your dog? Let me know in the comments below. Man-Eating Grey Wolves This is a pretty unbelievable story about some seriously ferocious wolves. In northern Saskatchewan, in the same region where the giant black wolf was spotted in our previous story, there have been packs of grey wolves getting bolder and bolder and going so far as to attack human prey. For anybody that doesn't know about the power of a grey wolf, an adult can easily bite through the thick bones of a moose just like a hyena might crunch through the bones of a dead animal. When it comes to biting into human flesh, grey wolves do not have a single issue. It's like us biting into an orange. Grey wolves are fast, they're predatory, and now they hold no fear of people. According to the National Post, in 2016, a grey wolf in Saskatchewan attacked a 26-year-old kitchen worker in the middle of the night near the Cigar Lake uranium mine. A security guard stumbled upon the scene, and had it not been for the bright lights of the security guard's vehicle, the worker very well could have died. And this is not the only incident of a wolf attacking a human in the same region. Other victims are not so lucky. In 2005, a university student was killed, and according to the forensic evidence, it was because of a wolf attack. Believe it or not, it seems that wolves are striking back. Sea Wolves You have heard of grey wolves, timber wolves, arctic wolves, and even dire wolves. But have you heard of sea wolves? If you didn't know any better, you would never even believe sea wolves are real. But they are. National Geographic even did a segment on them. In a world of endangered species, wolves being hunted to the brink of endangerment and shrinking habitats, wolves have adapted to a life at sea. There is now a new breed of wolf who have started swimming and eating seafood. On the coast of British Columbia, there is a new group of wolves who are being referred to as sea wolves because of their bizarre adaptation to swimming between small coastal islands and hunting fish and other types of seafood rather than land animals. However, to catch their shellfish, these wolves must be incredibly competent swimmers, and that is exactly how they have adapted. They can swim for miles at a time, their longest swim being over 7 miles 12 kilometers. The British Columbian coast is a perfect spot for these animals to roam, as it is incredibly isolated with roughly 21 million acres of undisturbed wilderness. In that quiet space, the sea wolves have been evolving. They are now genetically different from other species, and it is a bizarre sight to see these wolves hanging out on the beach, swimming in the ocean, and hunting seafood. It's straight up unbelievable. 
Northwestern Wolf. Let's stop and take a minute to talk about one of the world's largest wolves. The Northwestern Wolf is an absolutely unbelievable animal. It is majestic, it is gorgeous, and it is massive. This wolf probably weighs the same as you or a little more. The Northwestern Wolf can grow to be roughly 170 pounds, 80 kilograms. They are typically found in Western North America, ranging from Alaska, south through the Western Canadian provinces, and all the way to the Northwestern United States. They live in forests and mountains, and normally roam in a family group of between 6 and 12 wolves. They have excellent sight, stupendous hearing, and some of the best noses in the animal kingdom. They can reach a top speed of 40 miles an hour, 64 kilometers, which is definitely faster than you have of any hope of outrunning. But unless you are roaming in the wilderness, you are very unlikely to have a standoff with a Northwestern Wolf. They also go by Alaskan Timberwolf, Canadian Timberwolf, Mackenzie Valley Wolf, and Rocky Mountain Wolf. Now for number 5, but first did you know that wolves are believed to have been first domesticated about 15,000 years ago? Let me know in the comments below. Yuki the Wolf Dog Meet Yuki the Wolf Dog 87.5% Grey Wolf, 8.6% Siberian Husky, and 3.9% German Shepherd. Yuki is an extremely unique animal, almost completely wolf with just a dash of a dog in his genes. Yuki became famous after photos of him at the Shy Wolf Animal Sanctuary were put online. Yuki is almost 15 years old now. He weighs around 120 pounds and is arguably the most famous wolf dog in the world. It's hard for anyone to believe how big this wolf and dog hybrid truly is. He eats about 40 pounds of raw meat in a week, he's extremely friendly, and he has a strange love for attention specifically by the female volunteers who work at the animal shelter in Naples, Florida. Despite Yuki's huge size, he is not the dominant animal in his enclosure. He shares his cage with another wolf dog, a female named Bella. Bella is smaller and is the dominant animal in their enclosure. It's hard to believe that these two spectacular animals can be alive today, but it's all thanks to selective breeding and the kindness of volunteers at animal shelters. You won't find a wolf dog like Yuki roaming the wild, but his breed is actually getting more and more popular with specialized breeders. Before long, we may see lots of wolf dogs at the park. Canadian Killer Wolf Another terrifying story of a wolf attack. Most people think about wolves as timid creatures who hunt in packs and stick to the shadows, but a New Jersey family just discovered how horribly wrong this misconception is. This was back in 2019. The couple from New Jersey were camping with their two sons in Banff National Park, Canada. They were in their tent when the absolutely unthinkable happened. A wolf literally tore open their tent, attacked the family, then tried to drag the man out of the tent into the night. According to the Calgary Herald, the man's wife had to grab him by the legs while the wolf was trying to drag him away. This is not your everyday camping trip, and this is one seriously unbelievable wolf. But don't be scared of your next trip to the Great White North, being attacked by wolves is not an everyday occurrence. According to Parks Canada, the wolf was very likely in a deteriorating condition and nearing the end of its life, and was therefore desperate for food. Luckily, in this horror movie, nobody in the family was seriously injured. 06. For those who don't know, Yellowstone National Park over 10 years ago began trying to repopulate the park with wildlife, and more specifically with wolves. When the wolves were reintroduced into Yellowstone National Park, it sparked an explosion of other animals also returning to the park, including bald eagles and beavers. None of the wolves were more visible or more famous than 06, the alpha female of a pack of wolves in the park. She was first discovered by wolf watchers in 2009 as a lone wolf, but quickly established her territory and became incredibly famous. She even mated with several different males without ever settling down. But why was she special? Well, it's dangerous for wolves to roam alone when you're trying to establish territory. Most wolves end up going back to their home pack or being killed by rival packs, but she had a special ability to avoid trouble and was very adept at handling territorial rivalries. Unfortunately, in 2012, she was shot and killed by a trophy hunter. While it didn't happen inside the park as the wolf had been wandering at the time, it was not technically illegal. Nonetheless, this was a pretty tragic end to the park's famous resident, and it caused an international outcry just like when Cecil the Lion was murdered in 2015. The Wolfman Meet the Incredible Wolfman 
Marcos Rodriguez Pantoja was abandoned as a child and survived for 15 years in the wild while being raised by wolves. He may not be a genetic wolf, but that doesn't make him any less of an unbelievable creature. It happened in 1953, and as a child who was 7 years old, he was abandoned to fend for himself. He ended up being raised by wolves who protected him, sheltered him, and raised him like one of their own. This man lost the use of his language and fully transformed into a wolf, though not physically, barking, screeching, and howling. According to The Guardian, he was discovered 12 years later by police, hiding in the mountains. They found him wrapped in deerskin, his hair long and matted, and completely savage. The police had to catch him and bind his hands and then bring him to the nearest village. He was eventually brought to Madrid, where he was put through a type of rehab and received a remedial education from nuns at a monastery. The man is okay now, though he has not had a very pleasant time being human. For many years after being discovered in the wilderness, Rodriguez struggled with society and people took advantage of him. In 2010, Spanish director Gerardo Oliveras released a film, Entre Lobos, Among Wolves, based on Rodriguez's life in the mountains. Have you seen this famous movie? Tell me about it in the comments below. Dire Wolves Yes, dire wolves are real. Or rather, they used to be real. Back in the last Ice Age, there were enormous wolves then used to hunt bison and other massive animals, sometimes even small mammoths. However, just like the woolly mammoth and the saber-toothed tiger, dire wolves went extinct several thousand years ago. But yes, they existed. And in the south of Oregon, there is one breeder who has spent the last 30 years of his life trying to recreate the ancient dire wolf. He calls the breed American Alsatian, and the puppies are extremely adorable. They grow to be tall and broad with golden eyes and very wolfish features. The man who breeds these animals is really hoping that with more time they can grow in size and look more like the wolves from thousands of years ago. It would be about 10,000 years ago that the last dire wolf died out. Whether or not he can recreate an actual dire wolf is yet to be seen. Thanks for watching. Which of these wolves is the most unbelievable? Which one did you like the most? Tell me in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you later.